Hello everyone, hope all of you are fine and doing well. Here I will be discussing with you your chapter tissues. So let me discuss, let me explain this chapter throughout this PPT. But first of all you should know about cells and uh, the basic introduction of this chapter. As you know all the living organisms they are made up of cells and in the previous chapter we have studied about the cell and th that cell is the functional and structural unit of life. Cell is the fundamental and structural unit of an organism. So on the basis of the, those cells we have mainly two types of organisms. We have unicellular organisms and we have multicellular organisms. So if we talk about your unicellular organisms like amoeba, paramecium, they are made up of single cell and in those organisms single cell perform all the basic functions all the basic activities like movement, intake of food, digestion, respiration, excretion, reproduction etc. And whereas if you talk about uh, multicellular organisms, they are made up of number of cells, they are made up of millions of cells, fine. And each cell is specialized to perform different functions. Therefore, they show division of labor. So you can define what is division of labor, division of labor in human, in, a, in any body, in, in the body of any multicellular organisms means specialization of cells and their grouping with each specialized group of cells, fine. So if, if for example in any, in animal body, uh, muscle cells perform uh, different function, a function of movement of body. Nerve cell helps in the conduction of messages whereas uh, blood cells helps in the transportation of material throughout the body. In the similar manner if you talk about uh, plant cells, in, uh, if you talk about plant category, cells of phloem conduct food from leaves to other part of the body. Fine. So this specialization is achieved only due to differentiation. Uh, as it is possible because cells they occupy different shape, different size, different functions. So now you can define what are tissues. So tissue is a group of cell with the common origin, structure, function that work together to perform a particular function. For example, blood, bone, cartilage are some of the examples of animal tissues while xylem, phloem, parenchyma etc they uh, are different types of tissues which are found in plants fine so this study of tissues is called as histology and the term was firstly coined by Mir fine now uh, do you do you really think that plants and animals they have same type of tissues what would be the what would be the answer so answer will be no they do not have same type of tissues though plants and animals they have similar type of life processes but due to difference in their organization lifestyle their uh, their mode of living they do not have dif uh, they do not have uh, similar type of tissues so let us have a let us have a look how plants and animal tissues they are different from each other so if you talk about your plant tissues they have a stationary phase means plants remain fixed at a particular place fine and whereas your uh, animal tissues they have locomotive phase uh, locomotive phase means animals are mobile they have to move in search of food in search of shelter hence most of their tissues are living also so you can correct the spelling of locomotive it is l o c o m o t i v e locomotive fine it is just a i misspelled it you can correct the spelling of locomotive uh, next is your uh, plant tissues they do not require lot of energy why they do not require lot of energy they le they require less energy because most of the plant tissues they are dead fine and uh, animal cells they require lot of energy because most of the tissues in plants sorry in animals they are living 
next they have more dead uh, I'm uh, sorry plant cells plant tissues have more dead cells as it produce mechanical energy whereas animal tissues they have more living cells plants they are able to make their own food whereas animals they cannot make their own food and depend on other organisms plant tissues they are mainly of two types meristematic tissues and permanent tissues whereas animal tissues there are four type of uh, types of animal tissues we have epithelial connective muscular and nervous tissues fine so we will be discussing about plants and animal tissues one by one separately so uh, here we have a mind map of flow chart uh, mind map of uh, plant tissue so plant tissues mainly categorized into meristematic and uh, permanent tissues meristematic tissues they are um, uh, mainly these are those tissues in which cells are capable of division fine so uh, whereas permanent tissues are those in which cells they do not uh, divide they the cells they are not capable of division meristematic tissues they are categorized further as apical tissues intercalary tissues and lateral tissues whereas permanent tissues they are further categorized as simple tissues and complex tissues simple tissues they are uh, further divided into parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma whereas complex tissues they are categorized as xylem and phloem fine so we will be discussing about all these tissues their functions one by one uh, separately and uh, uh, one thing more i would like to just share with you that you know uh, the biggest organ within the human body is liver whereas the largest organ is skin so, so remember uh, the biggest organ within the human body is liver whereas the largest organ is skin fine so this is also one of the very important chapter tissues to study the organization organization of uh, of any uh, uh, organism just to study by studying these tissues their types their functions we'll be able to understand that how living organism they are organized fine so we have different levels of organization in the living body uh, uh, firstly we have cell from cell we it become tissues and a group of cells form tissues then tissues combine to form organ organ combines to form uh, organ system and ultimately organ system combines to form an full fledged organism fine so this is all about for your today's topic next uh, the explanation of plant tissues we'll be discussing in the next ppt